What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. You know what we're doing today? We are talking about how to export transparent videos in After Effects. That's right, I'm talking about <laughs> All right, I'm super excited. I know you are too, let's go. Okay, so this technique is super useful, whether you're making animations, GIFs, lower thirds, titles, you name it. It's super dope because the versatility that you get from having a video with a transparent background is just endless. We're gonna get right into doing that. So I literally use this technique throughout the channel on a whole bunch of videos or even client projects. And yeah, it's just really useful for a whole lot of reasons. We're gonna jump right into it. Okay, so let's get right into this. We're wasting no time at all. We're gonna hop right into After Effects. So as you can see here in the composition, here I have a pretty cool animation of our logo. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this through so you can see it. The first step before rendering out a transparent video is to make sure that you don't have anything in the background. And you're probably noticing that the background of this is black, but if I go ahead and click on this button right here, this is called the show transparency button. It's gonna change the background from black to this checkered texture, which pretty much means that it's transparent. That's how Adobe communicates that. And if we go ahead and press that button again, it's gonna change back to black. But don't worry, this is just to make it easier to preview the animation but in reality I didn't add a solid background or anything to that so this is looking pretty good we have it checked we have made sure that this animation actually has a transparent background so how do we export it well we're just gonna go ahead all the way up to the top click on composition and you're gonna find a button called add to render queue you can press Control M when you have the composition selected on your keyboard to pull that up as well or if you're on a Mac, it's gonna be Command Control M. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and change the settings of this export. Now by default, you're gonna probably see this blue text here that says lossless or whatever it says. And whenever we click on this, that's how we pull up the settings. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Right here in format, I'm gonna make sure that this is selected to QuickTime, which is gonna be a codec that allows for transparent video. And then all the way down here in the video output section, I'm gonna change the channels from RGB to RGB plus alpha which is super important. It's like the most important step to make sure that you're doing when rendering in After Effects because by default, if it's just set to RGB, anything that's transparent with the video, even though we've made sure beforehand, is actually gonna get rendered as black. But when we keep RGB plus alpha, then the transparent information, which is also called an alpha, is gonna be stored inside of that video for us to use later. So that's why we're selecting RGB plus alpha. Now we can play around a little bit with the format options. I'm gonna leave this at animation because that's one that supports RGB plus alpha, but some versions of ProRes allow it as well. One of the ways that you're gonna be able to check to make sure that this is still working is if you change it to a format, like let's say ProRes LT, which doesn't support RGB plus alphas, then when you go back into the render settings and click OK, you're gonna see that the RGB plus alpha section is grayed out. That just means that you can't do that. So make sure you select one that actually lets you do that. I know animation is one that's pretty good. ProRes 4444 also works well. And once that's all set, we just have to click OK. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose this next blue text, which is gonna let me pick the output folder and the output name. So let's just enter in something real quick here and hit okay. And then we're gonna go all the way over to render and let this render out. Now this is gonna take a few minutes to render depending on your computer, but this is also a really great time to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on notifications as well because I'm gonna be going over all sorts of cool After Effects stuff and you don't wanna miss that. Let's check back in the After Effects. Cool, so it looks like the render finished. I'm gonna go ahead and open this file up just to check. And what you're gonna notice is that on my computer, it's showing up with a black background, but that's just because that's how Windows is rendering it. But when I take this into something like Adobe Premiere, but let's just open this back up in After Effects in the same composition. I can go ahead and add all sorts of different videos behind it. I can change the background color. I can do all kinds of things. And this makes it a super versatile video file now animation. I actually use this in our email signatures at the bottom so that whenever people are getting it, it's not showing up with a, you know, a black background, but whatever background, you know, works. You can use it on websites. It's literally endless possibilities. <laughs> so cool. You are all set to make transparent videos. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. If you want me to go over something else in After Effects, just leave a comment down below. If I don't get to it, maybe someone else who's reading it is going to also get to it. As always, I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.